but that's the know. thing we're the same sign and we're like you know the same but i don't i lack it's called yin and yin within the dm it goes down in the dm it goes down in the it goes down it go yeah What's good, good mom? It's your girl Slim Goody, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And as you can tell by the title, we are going to do the Q&A, all the questions and stuff that you guys want to ask me and be being, yo, you done? Oh. Me and Ben. Oh, no, me and I'm ben. So sorry. I thought you was just stopping to stop. No, but I'm in um, my own world. Clearly, but uh, yeah. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like. Comment and subscribe to the channel if you're new to the family. Welcome to the mob. Yeah. So, you ready? You ready to hit on the end? I'm ass? ready, I'm ready. Go. You sure? Yes, go. What do you like to do for fun? I like to watch TV and do nothing. <laughs> That's a lot of what With we've been doing. With a glass of wine. I like to travel. Get out of my head. And I'm simple. And I like to go do my nails and my feet. Like that really makes my you have to listen. That just makes my day. That we didn't get to do. I don't even want to get mine up to love them. Sorry though, because when I go back, I'm gonna get mine. Yeah, I'm gonna take my mom. That's what that's gonna be mother today. Anyways, but what I like to do for fun, pretty much the same thing. I like to watch TV. I like to watch movies. I love to travel. Traveling is my ultimate favorite thing to do at this point in my life. Um, I don't like to sit in one place. It's irritating. It is. Yeah. So. I'm stuck. Yeah. I don't like to feel like that. I like to do photography and videography, but what I love, that's what I love to do. And also what I do for fun. So yeah. Next question. Next question. What kind of music do you listen to more? R&B. I love R&B. It just sets a mood, you know? Makes you feel good. <laughs> Tell me not. Yo, I love R&B music. It just sets my mood. Not the, it's not it's the ooh for me. I don't know, just as my mood. No. I like. You can't go R wrong with R&B music. Or neo soul. And then on a good day, on a chill day, if I'm listening to jazz, that means I'm really in my mood and I'm really relaxing. Maxing and relaxing. Maxing and relaxing. <laughs> you never heard that what attracted you to each other? Her personality. The way you talk to me. <laughs> uh, raspy. Who hit up who first? I did, my goodness. <laughs> in the DM. Slip in the DM. It goes down in the DM. It goes down in the... It goes down. It go. Yeah. And I didn't have it. Ooh. Mm -mm -mm. If it's... Oh, my DM popping. My DM nigga. Yeah, your DM is popping. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what was <laughs> you saying? Yo, what? This girl. It is. Is there a big age difference? No. No? Two years. I'm two years apart. Two years apart, the oldest honey. Lady. The oldest she's dated. Okay. So we we going to France and stuff now? I don't even know what accent that is. Or English? I don't know. I don't know what that was. You know what it is? It's this. This Slurpee has met sugar. You know when I get sugar in my system, I gets crazy for real. I'm like a whole child. You are. Like for real. You act like, like your four year old. Like, oh my goodness, it's just so good. It makes sweet. A sweet, uh, 
Well, I'm not breaking out my candy right now. I'm breaking out those that I'm eating too bad. Yes. I need to go on a strict diet. You need to go back on your, on your shots and all of the vitamins. It's my alcohol Damn, shots. Damn, we, we both um, do need to take our vitamin again. My vitamins, my turmeric shots, and my rebound immune system shots. For real. The what? Them shits oh. nasty, but they are so good for your body. Anything that's good for your body does not taste good. I know. Everything that's not good for your body is going to taste the best. Oh my gosh, we bought this. Is it Korean or Japanese? The soda that we bought. Korean. You think so? I don't know. I don't know. I just take Asian. I don't want to like. Yeah. It's called what? Apple cider ginger something? It's apple cider apple soda. Apple cider soda is so good. It is good. Yeah. Ooh, After see, what? I told you. I feel like I ate with it. No, you want some. Now that you talk to me, talk about so, it. It's so good. I want to see some apple cider. Yeah, yeah, I don't know, but it's like, look, it says apple sidra. Sidra is cider. Sidra is cider in Spanish. Without chemical colors. So the other ones have chem. The other ones have chemical colors. All I think my every soda got some type of uh, chemical color in it. Food mm -hmm. coloring. Whatever. Yeah, why, why, how you think, what makes you think, uh, what you think changes the blue soda? Blue. Mm -hmm. Which one of you is the kinky one? I am. No. Definitely am. No. Definitely not. Okay. No. What was your first impression of each other when you first met and has it changed? First impression of Sam was damn she's first of all was damn she's smooth. <laughs> that what you did. I was like she's smooth. But then also she was so good. She smelled so good. Her haircut was on point. Her skin, she has the nicest skin. Oh my god. So nice and like soft and like it's getting freaked out right now. Well, cause we eating junk, but it's gonna but her skin is so nice. And you know, I couldn't keep my hands off her real quick, but then I had to come back, you know, cause we in a, a whole, you know, situation. I had to, you know, take a shower, wash my hands and all that, you know. But, but anyways, yeah, I'm just like, no, it has not changed. Anything. My first impression was, thank God she's not cat fish for one. Two, oh, she's short. Three. She, she was like you mad tall. That is so frustrating. Are you gonna turn the music down? Oh. No, no. And then the other version is she is cute. Oh, beautiful. So then. Baby. Oh. Don't do that. Okay. Don't do that. Anakin. Very done, y'all. It's really fun. Are we officially a couple? Oh, no, because I feel like. We need to take it slow, and I don't know why people want to be rushing. Everything when you rush, it just don't go well. What? When you rush things, everything else feels rushed, and then it ends fast. Just how you go in, it ends quick. Facts. <laughs> Facts. How long have you been seeing each other? Cuatro meses. What? Cuatro meses. What? Cuatro meses. Cuatro. Cuatro. Tro. I don't say tro. Tro. What? Say tro. Tro. Yeah. So cuatro. Cuatro. Uh huh. Me. Me. Ses. Ses. Yes. Meses. Meses. Yes. So cuatro. Cuatro. Meses. Messes. Yeah, babe! No, four. Four months. Oh. Oh, that's Bob Ross. Wow, I was just talking about him. That's crazy. Lost attraction. Should have heard. Lost attraction. Um, has there any 
been any plans for a permanent relocation for either of you to be closer together? Yeah, but not right now, right now. What? Yeah. And I said one to answer. Oh. In the future, yes. Right now, no. Were there any reservations to not be together? And if so, what changed your thought process? Um, no. There was no reservation. This just was no reservation at all? No. This shit just happened? It just happened. Mm. Like a little booty clapping. <laughs> Yo, I'm corny as the... And I laugh so loud. I try not to, but my laugh, I can't control not to laugh loud. I hate when people laugh at me. <laughs> like, girl, laugh. Like, why are you scared to laugh? Oh, I'm, I'm holding it like, oh my God. I can't do it. Like, you, because you laugh like that, but you no. play. Like, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, you know what I hate when people be like, oh, that was funny, and they don't laugh? Why would you say that was funny if you didn't laugh? They're like, yo, that shit was funny. They're laughing their head. No, babe. No. If you say, yo, I'm laughing like, yo, that was funny. My tears are coming out. Not like, yo, that's funny. What? But you didn't even laugh. So how was it funny? Like, now you're you insulting my laugh? intelligence. What? And their hands. Hey, my something have. is funny. Like when we was in the so restaurant, what, and the girl. Laugh. Laugh. There's people that can drop. They can sit there and laugh. <laughs> the girl when she hit the team, bro. Everybody. That was yeah. I was like this. I was yo. I felt my. I couldn't hold it. No, I'm breaker for you guys going forward in your relationship what is a deal breaker mm -hmm. um any negativity mm -hmm. and cheating i will not tolerate cheating we're not together right now no but in the future if we ever have a relationship we're talking about right now oh right now mm -hmm. oh my fault i was thinking about the future mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> um so cool. Right now, what is a deal breaker? Mm -hmm. Not you cheating, but like you talking to somebody. Like I said, you're talking to somebody, but not telling me. I need to be informed. I need to know that you're talking to somebody because I'm not going to be here focusing my whole 24 7 of the time. And you're over here entertaining a whole other human being. I'm talking to somebody else. No, you're not. Give a straight face for nothing. You had to keep a straight face. What is it different about this relationship compared to your last relationship? Uh -huh. Two questions. Think to one. What is the difference between this relationship and my life? Why am I the only one answering these we're, questions? We're both answering this one first. Why are your answers are so dry? <laughs> Or just camera die. Okay. Um, uh, a lot. Um, toxicity. What? Like it was. Uh, there was a lot of toxicity in my last relationship. Oh. I'm saying toxic. No, I'm saying my last relationship. What about you? Cause you was about to go to the next question. No, I wasn't. Yo, you're mad aggressive. It's the hot tamales you're eating. <laughs> hot you tamales. Have. You like the tamales? Mm -hmm. I think it's spicy. I don't know how you eat mm -hmm. 
Mm. She accepts my feminine side and my masculine side all in one. What? You accept my feminine side and my masculine side. Oh my god, I love her feminine side. This is so cute. I love her. I mean, I like her because she's a girl. Like, I love But I love her masculine side too. It's sexy. She has both. I mean, you accept Oh my gosh, you're in this unisex, <laughs> whatever you feel like you know what you are, is what you are. I'll accept you, I'll love you no matter what. Well, not like that, because I don't want you to take the little room play that I, that I love you. Because <laughs> people be like, oh my god, she said I love you. Not like that. She looks like as a person. person yeah, as a person. Um, and how do you two balance one another out with your strength and weaknesses like when one is feeling down how do you two balance each other out with your strength and weaknesses like when one feeling down or stressed out how does the other play a part in uplifting and motivating i stay positive for you and for me too she, I, she's, not that ne she's not that negative I'm super positive, like 24-7. Well, sometimes, no. you know, not 24-7. But just most really of either. the time, most of the time, I try to see the positive in, in, in things. <laughs> in things, things. <laughs> I try to see the positive because who want to be a negative person 24-7? That is not fun. I cannot. I like to get over it. Like if we get into an argument, we argue, and then like fine, I'm gonna give you ten minutes to breathe, and then we gonna talk about it and literally. let it go. On the time frame, she gives you literally five or ten minutes to get over. Yeah, it. because why are you holding this? Why are you holding on to this all day? What is the purpose? You're gonna be angry all day for what? You know the energy you have to take out when you're angry at somebody. I'm not angry all. No, all in general, when you even have an. I know listen, that. Let's say if you even have an argument with like a family member or whatever, or your brother, or your sister, whatever. And then, why would you stay mad all day? Like, there's people that will really stay mad all day. And it's like, what? okay, what are you getting out of that? You're, you're just mad. You're wasting mad energy. You don't know when you, you see when you argue, you just feel mad tired after. Like, you feel drained. I don't want to argue. The I would not argue with somebody. But I'm saying negative no, and to that. pour negative energy out there, you need it's like double the energy of positive. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, what's the whole point? So when there we is heard, no point. we never argue, but we have disagreements in some Quite certain nice things. One. So we be debating and stuff, and then what she does is that she gets quiet. Right? She hates it. Everybody no, you hates know why it. I don't hate it? No, you. I'm gonna tell you why. You don't hate it. I'm, I'm gonna tell you why. I hate it, I'm sorry. In my last, not my last relationship, but my previous relationship after that. No, my relationship after that, that's not my previous, I'm bugging out. My relationship after that, right? I was with a person who was very mentally abusive and he used to speak in a way where he used to put me in a place where I just didn't feel like arguing no more. I would just be quiet. So, I'm not saying what we had was that, but that's like a, you see when somebody gets a trigger, that's like a flashback I get. It's a, like I get that flashback of when I was in a situation and I used to get like, I used to shut down and be quiet. So that's why when me and you talk, it's not that we're being abusive to each other, but it's just like that reaction makes me think back to that. So when we have conversations that we debate or whatever and you get quiet like that, like, why are you quiet? I said, I gave you five minutes. Now let's talk about it, you know? It's always me. good to it's always good to talk about things even if it's uncomfortable. Cause that's how things work out. And it's crazy because we are so hard to be to tell especially somebody you're with or somebody like some uncomfortable conversations. Like I don't know how to explain it. Right hey, now. any type of uncomfortable conversation is uncomfortable. Yeah. But I mean, I see where you're coming from. You have to have the conversation regardless. Thank you. You have to have the conversation regardless, but I'm the type of person, I shut down a lot, so. And that's what and I want you to get out situation. of. So that's what I see. That's what I always want you to get out of. That's why 
I'm, I have like a bipolar attitude. <laughs> I'm yes. not bipolar. We learned today that she's but Pisces. Something. So she has her Pisces moment a lot. So something triggers me, I will get upset, and you will know. Like my, it's thick. I will, you will know if I'm tight, right? So then I'll be mad at her, right? For like five minutes, it'd be like petty shit or whatever. And then I'll be like, "Come here, babe. Come here. Come lay down." She'll be like, "What the?" <laughs> Like, but no, it's not no. that it's just that i'm i just like to get over things and then i like to talk about it after so you won't think i'm a crazy maniac just switching i like to talk about it after that's not because you do look like a crazy maniac because you do switch i do switch because something you did bothered me but then i just be like let me just tell you what bothered me because that's be a, that's your pisces and your but i tell you if something is bothering me though it's not like if i switch and then i stay switched like that that's weird they need to be like yo this crazy no i know why you went to i always explain why i that triggers or she does too though sometimes she'll be like that triggers me i'm telling this now i'm starting to use my voice a little more than yeah, i used to but anyway last question oh. are y'all the best each each other ever had we don't know yet yeah, we're not in a relationship, so we don't know yet. We're just trying to get, to, we're still trying to get to know each other. We still don't know. You'd never know somebody fully, though, in life. So I just met her. Imagine now I'm still trying to get to know her. Like, I don't even know, I don't really know who she is. I know who she is, but I really don't know. So. We're still building, like, building the friendship first. Yeah. But in the midst of us building a friendship. Being intimate on two. Yeah, There's nothing wrong with that. You never really know who you with. There be people that be with psycho killers and not even know they were a psycho killer until like later in life. What if I was Did in jail? A what? What if I ended up being in jail? In jail? No, a jail, like on you, the show. Oh my goodness, don't say that. Joe from the show you. You know I got I got I got really I, I have real <laughs> What? You forgot to eat. Yep. <laughs> but no. <nah. laughs> Yo, I'm scared. <laughs> you know you be having that look in your face sometimes that be creeping me out. No, y'all. Hopefully this is not the last video. I'm not crazy right there. What's the next question? <laughs> next question was the last question is um shit. I gotta have remember Ruben that remember it. No. And it's only for you though. Oh well it's for both of us. If this becomes a relationship would what you going to do to protect Slim's heart? That's the last question. Okay. The only person that can protect Slim's heart is Slim. But. Wait, but can I finish? Dang. Yeah, I was gonna add to it. Oh, okay, go on, what? But. The person you marry is the one who's also supposed to help protect that heart, too. Because no, yeah, to of course. You can't, I know, you can't do trifling things. That I understand. You know you're in a relationship when you're with someone. You know you have to, it's to death do his part type on like that movie, death do his part. You seen that movie? Mm. That thing is crazy. He literally took that literal. Anyways, but, um, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but I feel like when you're entering a relationship, you learn from your last and your past relationship. So you should know when you're with someone and they make you feel like how you felt in the past. Like they bring up that feeling. I feel like that's not good. Um, but you know, I mean, you live and you learn. But I will protect you. That's why that cheating question, that cheating question, like, it, technically I didn't cheat, but the person felt like I did. So then I started feeling like I did, but I really did. Whatever, we're just going to leave it at that. But the point of the story. Maybe I don't know what you're talking about. 
check out our to the drink uh video. Go ahead. Yeah, but um what was the question again? About the heart thing, mm -hmm. right? But I um I would never do anything to her. She's a really nice person. They're really nice. There's some things that are annoying. Everybody, you know, everybody got annoyed stuff. So I'm annoying as the fuck sometimes. Okay. But um. Come on, me knowing. She has a really good heart. You can see it. It's really genuine. You too. It's really genuine. I do. I do have a genuine heart. That's a my. Genuine that's my local pro heart. and my con. So I would put my pro and my con. Cause I'm so like loving and open, and then I sometimes I invite people that I shouldn't be invited. Would you think that I'm transparent? What you get is what you what you see is what you get, or am I still a mystery to you? Um, I don't think you're transparent, but then I do. I feel like there's certain things that you want to say to me, but you don't say, and you're not ready to say. Which is okay with me. I mean, whenever you're ready to like have the conversation. But like I said, you like to have conversations through text. She's not good with having confrontational conversation through the phone. You know why? Only through text, like not through like FaceTime. But you know why? I know. No, I know. Now you know. Now I know. Um, but she's just really sweet. She's a really sweet person. Oh, thank you. You should always stay like that. Don't change. No, I tried. No, God, God, God made me this way. But you still gotta have your little tough exterior. You do, though. Mm -hmm. You have patience. A lot of patience. And that's what people think. Because I have a lot of patience, people think that. But that's the thing. We're the same sign and we're like, you know, the same. But I don't, I lack patience. It's called yin and yang. Yeah, I like patience. Like, I just don't play that shit. Like, I just... I don't got the patience for bullshit. Don't play with me. Like, if if you come out crazy to me slick, and I feel like you're coming slick, you're probably not even coming slick, but I feel like your tone of voice is slick, don't play with me. Like, <laughs> I don't have patience like that. And I gained it as an adult. Because I'm just tired of the bullshit. And when you're an adult, and you have a whole bunch of other stuff you gotta, you know, maintain to, real life stuff... You get tired of the bull. Like, you know, I think if I didn't smoke so much and started smoking when I was so young, I don't think I would have so much patience. In that you area. Don't know that. In that, in that well, you don't know that. Mm -hmm. No, no. You Honestly, I'm capping. I still would. Because I gained this patience dealing with my mom and, and like other people and dealing with people in general. I feel like you have to have patience in general. And it, it takes a lot for me to get there. Like, People saying things to me, it might rub me the wrong way, but not enough to give you that much of my energy. I gained patience now as an adult once I walked in being a spiritual person. So once I started meditating, once I really started connecting myself to the universe and stuff like that, and really believe, started believing in it, was when I gained more wisdom and more patience. But I... I've always been you. spiritual, so I guess that's why I've always... I've been spiritual, but I've never been tapped in the way that I am. I love being tapped into my spiritual. Meditation really works. Like, when I'm having a really, like, stressful day, I literally... I turn on the water in my bathroom, and I sit on that floor, and that marble floor. The cold feel good, though. And I put my headphones on, and I put the meditation... But I'll be in the zone, for real. Meditation is good. It is. It really. I'm gonna finish my down. lessons in Tai Chi. It calms you down. It's really, really cool. But that was the last question, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed that video. We didn't start rambling. We did it a lot. That video. <laughs> what? What? Okay. You need to. You need to listen. You need to understand. It's one. 47 in the morning. There you go. My bad. Oh, so, yeah, we're we out. Sidetracked. Yeah. Don't forget to comment, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And we are on to the next video. Bye bye.